the Omega. Alpha and the Omega. Right. Reincarnation. It's real. All of us have been reincarnated. Man. It, that's too much. Right. That's, that's you got him there. I did. We gotta go there, bro. Right. Camera like, Alpha. Saying that we were all reincarnated. Yes. All of us. The devils, the devils, the wicked. All of us, man. Like We've been here a couple, many a times. Many a times. Reincarnation. You ain't gonna have memory of it, though. But you do have what you call deja vu. Deja vu. I can vu. say that much. You have what they call deja vu. See, so, e even this has already happened. Right. Remember, um, the prophets had visions of the future, right? So they had visions of what happened now. What's happening now? It's already so been said. It's already happened before. Everything. The scripts are. The, the script already been written. It's already been set in stone. <laughs> scriptures. Right. Scriptures. <laughs> the script's been written. That's why there's no free will. You got no control over what you do. You might think you have a control. It feels like it. You got the illusion of free will. Even if the Lord made you do that's something wild and crazy. You right. That's a bad it's an illusion of free will. That's bad. Yeah, but oh, even, I was just about to get the way that's all wrong, that's all wrong. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that hath been, and that which shall be, and that which is done, that and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Right, there's no new thing under the sun. Ain't nothing new. There's nothing you can say, like, look, this is new. Keep going. <laughs> is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new? Like, and you came out with a new style, thought you had some new swagger. Man, ain't nothing new. Okay? Like, America's nothing new. America's just the Roman Empire reincarnated. It's not new. It's the same devil that was 2,000 years ago. Same devil. Keep going. It says... It have been already of old time, which was before us. Yeah, I get, uh... I got, um, this, this is Proverbs 20 and 4, 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. Oh, that's a good one. How can a man then understand his own way? Yeah, man's goings are of the Lord, and how can he understand his own way? So we not out here because we made a choice to come out here. We out here because the Lord put it in our spirit to come out here. He got control of us. You know what I mean? We've been all programmed. We all been programmed. Uh, that's why he's happy. That's why you're here right now. That's that. Yeah, he wanted to mark you for some reason. Man, you get to mark you for, hey, some, for reason. some reason. For some reason, man. They always come out for some reasons. Somehow they come out. Everybody was created by the Lord for some kind of reason. <laughs> this is Job. Yeah, everybody was created by the Lord. Job 33 and 14. For the Most High speaketh once. Yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, and slumber is upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and silleth their instructions. So right, like he was talking about our REM sleep earlier. Like, when you sleep in the Lord program you while you're sleeping. And it said he seals your instruction. That means there's no free will. There's no such thing as free will, only the illusion of it. Right. Like even the scoffers that come up and talk shit, they might want to fight us. They might want to kill us. They, they didn't do that on their own, even though they thought that. They'd be like, oh, if, if I ain't got free will, I'll shoot you right now. You know what I mean? Right. And that was still the Lord that made them do that. They, they thought they had power, but they had none. You know, because it was already set in stone. Uh, Jeremiah 10 and 23. It says, Oh, Yahweh, most high thing. I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is in man. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. That's a good scripture. Where is that at? Jeremiah 10 23. Read that one again. Boy, that's a good one, right? We got Mark. That Jeremiah 10 23. He brought out one of them new ones, boy. Uh, read that one again. Jeremiah 10 and 23. Oh, Yahweh. I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. Yeah, that's a good one because the, oh, keep going. the Lord created all things. The Lord created the good. He created the evil. He created the light and the darkness all for his purpose. He created all these wicked fools just to fulfill his word. That's right. Go ahead. It says, verse 24, O Yahweh, correct me, but with judgment, not in thine anger, thou bring me to nothing. Daddy like says, that. For I thou upon the heathen that know thee not, and upon the family that call not on thy name, for they have eaten of Jacob and devoured him and consumed oh. him. 
That's a good script, yeah, because the heathen nations that started with Esau, they had devoured Jacob. You know, that's what we've even been talking about that all day. Going, going back to Alexander the, the Crete. You know what I'm saying? That he devoured the Israelites, forcing them to eat swine's flesh. They, they, you know what I'm saying, defiled the laws of the Most High. Just like in America, they devoured Jacob. We was talking about they put guns on the streets. It's the cops, it's the Edomite cops, and the government, they the ones shipping all the drugs in, all the guns. It was all going to the hood straight from from the from Esau, the so-called white man. Just be, uh, make it easy to understand. My, my favorite, my favorite, my YouTube page, one of the videos, but this Edomite made a video on how Ronald Reagan flooded the inner city with drugs. With drugs, and then it had a war on drugs. Yeah, right. Here it is, yeah, the yeah. government will bring in the drugs, and then they'll come out with something called the war on drugs. Right. You know what I mean? That building wouldn't be so if they didn't fund it. That, that courthouse? Yeah. It's all by design. It's a crafty devil. We're dealing with the serpent. We're dealing with the devil. The devil is smart. The devil is smarter than most these people. Devil, devil. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're wiser than serpents, okay? But the average person, they're easy to manipulate. You know what I mean? It's easy to manipulate. It's easy to give them some dope and some guns and, and then you know, go lock them up. You know what I mean? It's oh, easy to do that to you. I said for most people. No, the parents didn't taught them better. Well, well their parents is devils. Who yeah. taught, who taught the parents though? Huh? Who taught the parents? Their parents? Okay, but America. What? America's this is why you're supposed to teach your children is this book. The scripture, that's the Old Testament. No, no, the scriptures say, it command you, these children out here ain't you gotta be. You got honor no man, your father and father. Right, but ain't nobody out here honoring their parents. Their parents don't, don't honor their parents. The parents, the you know what I mean? Don't nobody do that. Ain't nobody got no mother or father. Honor thy mother and thy father that they long upon the land. You're right. That's true, but you got them fools on the land. I can't do that to my parents. My parents, I very close to my parents. I feel like what I'm saying, though, our children are not being raised on the scriptures. They're not being, they're being raised on uh, um, hip hop. They ain't being raised on cable TV, uh, drugs, drugs, video games, smoking weed, video games. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah, all these churches going off. They're not teaching the truth. You know what I'm saying? They're not well, teaching. I used to be a member of a common deacon from Inner City. Oh yeah. yeah. Who did the Lord come to save? Who's the Lord's people? Yeah, thank you. What scripture is that? You got a scripture for that? He was a deacon, right? Uh, yes, I don't know how to read that one. Let's go here. We'll read it for you. I'll read it for you, bro. Well, I'm going to show you who the Lord came to say. Maybe next time. Uh, uh, uh. Matthew 15 and 24. But this is red letters. That means that's the Lord himself, the one they call Jesus speaking. But he answered and said, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Lord only came to say to Israel. Hang on, talk to you. Yeah. See you next time. All right, then. We'll be around tomorrow? All right. All right. All right. you people will just say, don't release me. Right. According to the Bible, the Lord, ain't no scripture said the Lord came to save the Christians. They don't say that in the Bible. The Lord said he came to save the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what the Bible says. The word Christian is only in the Bible three times. The word Israel is in there thousands of times. Thousands. You know what I mean? Just over Israel, Israel, Israel. You read the book of Revelation, which is the New Testament. Just I just read the New Testament. The Lord, the, you know the word Christian never appears in the Gospels. The word Christian is not in Matthew. It's not in Mark, Luke, or John. Okay, you read the book of Revelation, it speaks of the, the New Jerusalem, the kingdom of heaven, having 12 gates in the names of the, each tribe of Israel was written on the 12 gates. It don't say nothing about Christians. So they love the, oh, the Christians, the Christians. That, that word Christian been defiled anyway. So we don't use that word no more. The elect of Israel. Yep. Just, 
Just because you're an Israelite don't mean you uh you righteous. <laughs> there you go. Well, the majority of Israelites are wicked. Well, here you go. Let me read this up. Okay. Revelations chapter 7, verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed in a, in 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. The children of Israel. <laughs> not the children of the Christians. Not the children of Esau. Yeah, no, yeah definitely not Esau. And the tribe of Judah was sealed 12,000. The tribe of Judah. On and on and on. 12,000 for each tribe. 12,000 for each tribe. It don't say nothing about the word Christian. It's not even in the book of Revelation. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's what Vocab Malone came out here and said, uh, I asked him, I said, so who did the Lord come to save? The Israel or the Gentiles? He said the Lord created a new race called the Christians. But <laughs> what scripture says that? That's, crazy, That's bugged out, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. That is crazy. I got the word Christian law in the Bible three times. You got literally... In the script, what is that, uh, in the book of Acts, what's that, 11, of, uh, I forget exactly, we can look it up. But it said they were called Christians first in Antioch. So, that means they had already been teaching for a long, long time, because they were called Christians first in Antioch, way after the Lord died, uh, resurrected, all that. So what was they called before people called them Christians? What was they calling themselves? They was Israelites. And still were Israelites. Christian was a nickname. Yeah, that's just a nickname. E even the Messiah, that's a title or a nickname. I mean, he's the Messiah, but that's not his name. Messiah is not the Lord's name. His name is Yahweh Shai. His name's, uh, you can call him the Mashiach, but his name is Yahweh Shai, okay? His name ain't Christ. Out, though, Romans, man. We actually knew we were Hebrew Israelites. They knew they was Israelites. Okay, I'm yeah. ready for my picture. You ready for your picture? Which one, which one, which side is going to? Uh, uh, oh, going to going to take the picture. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Put it in your portfolio. Somebody, can somebody tell me the name of this 
Let them sing praise of the Lord. Let them praise of the Lord. Let them dance. Let them sing praise of the Lord. I will take a pleasure in the people's He was beautified the people's salvation. That's why he just said the Lord's name, too. Like, God's name is not God. It's not God's Jehovah. Name. It's Yahweh. I and, Nah, that, that's Yahweh Shah is Jesus, it's not Yahushua. Okay, so I'm not. It's Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. You know, people have different dialects and they ain't know how to talk. They wasn't educated and they just say anything. <laughs> but it's been passed to us from thousands of years. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this one. Just say any kind of thing. You know the word hallelujah? We are God. That's why you say hallelujah. Because uh, Yah is short for God's name. Halal means to praise. So when you say hallelujah, you're speaking Hebrew. Because Yah means, is short for uh, Yahweh. It's like in the Bible, sometimes they call uh, Yahweh uh, Yah for short, like praise Yah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so like God's name. W H W H W E H. Right, but it's really Yahweh. When you say the full word, is Yahweh. And, and uh, his son's name is similar. It's Yahweh Shai. Uh, Jesus Christ is Yahweh Shai. It's Yahweh. Wa means Wa means and Yahweh. Wa Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai. There's actual scripture that says his, his, his name dwell in him. What scripture yep. is that? His name dwell in him. What? Let me find it. Is is um are the uh, yeah, the name is key. Are the um are the Jamaicans part of West Indies? Yeah. Those are Israelites. And you can see that's why they sing all that spiritual music. You, know, you listen to reggae, that's the spiritual music. You know what I mean? They always praising the Lord in the music. Just like just like Judas uh, was known for the spiritual music. Right, and all, all the of tribe. them are not Muslims. Well, Muslim, that's just a uh, You know what? Listen, I, I have scripts on, just like Muslims, Muslims because they practice the faith that Jesus not, Christ like being just a prophet. Right. right. Okay. Me, myself, I have no denomination, but I believe in my God. Now, what's, I know what's the Jesus website that I can do more research on about me? Okay. Yeah. Like the GMS Elder, I don't know something. Yeah, Great Millstone, or Great Millstone Bible. You got right, right. Something they drop and stuff. They don't. I'm not excuse. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean. <laughs> you, you, Bob, you total Bob. I've been getting drunk too. I've been getting drunk. But y'all in the we spirit might, though. We might be a little uh, tipsy. I, 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 well, I, I can't stand it. At least I can speak for myself. Y'all in the spirit though. But it ain't that bad because I'm. You can and you ain't got to put nothing to your lips. Let me get some. We got a piece of paper. Wait a minute. Get those and fucking put it to my lips. I know y'all feeling nice. I'll show you. Uh, this is our channel. You can type. I do. I feel good. I seen some other ones. Are they different from you on? I seen some on television. Also, red, purple. Yeah. Cause ain't nobody else in this whole massive city where there's over a million people out there. What we doing? See, that's that's probably. We go number six. We go on our left. This is our teachers right here. www.greatmilton.com Well, nah, just go on YouTube and type these words in. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, but, you know what I'm saying? Bless you all. Yeah, y'all cool, though. Y'all got good spirits on you. The Lord gonna bless y'all. to the west side, but it's just crazy out there. No, no, man. That's what we're 
I, I just be riding out in the street out there, but you just motherfuckers just bugged out, just walking out the street, just zombies, zombies shaking, zombies. freaking out. They be just freak bugging out, bitches just. Uh, That's crazy, man. And they doing that shit intentionally, talking them over, all that dope in the hood, man. Then they put that, they cut it with fentanyl. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you hear like you, they got proof that the cops is in on it. There was a big story that came out a couple weeks in the news about how a cop overdosed on fentanyl. They said he overdosed by touching it. Just like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Man, he, he was shooting that shit up, bro. He was shooting it up, and then they covered it up. And then a, a medical doctor came out and called him on their bullshit, an expert, and said there's no way he could have overdosed just by touching it. Like